example, this is a newer version of Procreate. This is version 3.1. They added some new features into 3.1 Procreate. Here are a couple of my favorites. If you go to Preferences, you can go to Advanced Gesture Controls. And that brings up this here. There's a quick menu that they added. This quick menu, and I've set it to just a touch. You can do touch and hold. But with your finger, if you tap it, if you just tap it, you get this little menu up here. New layer. So here's some things that are already set up. If you press and hold on a button, you can set it to whatever and you when you would like if you, there's a particular brush that you like you can set it to that so there's that so how do we well, how would that be useful so you're going to go to I have these brushes in here they are for sketching I have three technical pens and there's if you if you watch on the side over here you'll see there's one there's one a little bit bigger and then one a little bit bigger. So it goes small, medium, large. So if I, I should probably change the name of this. I'm just going to call it 2. Let's call it point 0.2. Uh, we'll go back. This one we'll call. Come on. Let me try. Maybe that's the original one. I can't rename it. So will that be point three? And we're going to change the name of this to point one. And then just for consistency's sake, let's. I'm going to duplicate this guy, and I'm just going to change the name of this one to point three. Okay, so now we have three different brush names, all different sizes, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So if we go back to our uh, gesture controls, actually, sorry, I'm going to tap. And then I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. Should we try to do that? Or 1, 2, 3. Let's go here. Let me tap it. If I press and hold, I'm going to set it to the brush. JS Sketch. Uh, just go to regular sketching. And here's a technical one. We press and hold here. We can go to select brush, sketching, technical two. So here, whoops. If we, if we tap, press and hold, brushes, sketching, three. So here, if I, you know, if I'm want to just change my brush size, I could do it over here. Is this showing up? So here's the smallest one. Um, but I find that it would just it's just nice to have uh, a consistent size difference. So here's point 0.3. We tap point 0.2, point 0.2, tap point 0.1. So that's much quicker than going here and tapping here and tapping off of it. Um, the other thing that's really useful is setting up one of these things. And this is useful for me. I'm going to set up the perspective assist on here. Um, if you don't know what perspective assist is, uh, it helps you, you can do a two-point perspective here. And I'm going to say done. Now, if I, if I on the layer, if I tap perspective assist, let me zoom out a little bit, it's drawing lines to that vanishing point or to this vanishing point. And the verticals are vertical. So, and I would often want to turn off the perspective assist. And now it's really easy to do. I set those things in there. I want to change my brush size to a bigger brush. That's bigger. Some really useful things. The other um, piece here, and I'm going to, this is called Streamline. This is a new thing in here. I'm going to put Streamline all the way up. I'm just, for sake of clarity, I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to turn off the guide here. Um, Got a little dark here, didn't it? Are we still recording okay? Everything's okay. We're going to draw a curved line. Do you see what it's doing? It's kind of lagging behind it, but it's smoothing out that curve. 
And so when I'm drawing this thing, the line, it's much easier to be consistent. Let me turn this streamline off all the way and I'll show you that it is still consistent, the streamline. So I was drawing a, a shoreline the other day and let me just clear this layer out. And it and it was the shoreline looked like this. There was a building here. I can show you the I can show you the drawing. I'm working on this drawing right here. Forward. So if we went in here, we put our streamline all the way up, and now we want to draw a curve along here, smoothing it out. Let me draw another line really close to it, trying to be consistent. And that's working quite nicely. So the other thing about Streamline is, let me just turn this off. I use a, this rolling ruler item. And I'm going to clear out the layer. You know what? Let me just um, change this to clear layer. So that will be helpful. Um, when I'm drawing a line, drawing a building, I'm using a rolling ruler. I have a screen protector on it so that the metal wheels on the ruler don't affect it. Um, but when I draw vertical or horizontal lines, it works It works quite nicely. But drawing lines on that diagonal, and if you draw slowly, it creates a wavy line. Let me just show you. So it creates a wavy line. And if you, you can press and hold, it'll create a straight line and you can move it around and such. Um, but if you turn this streamline up all the way it gets rid of all the waviness just like it got rid of the wavy on these curve parts so we just had a couple of new features that I found really useful one being the streamline feature which gets rid of the wavy line and then two is the under advanced gesture controls the quick menu and then setting it to turn off and on the perspective assist and then setting some brushes with some quick touch items so thanks for watching have a good day bye bye